Okay, so let's do an example of drawing the sigma bonding framework and the pi bonding framework for a molecule with a triple bond. And so this is ethine here. And notice that we have our coordinate system like we had in the previous problem. And what we're going to do is first determine the hybridization, draw the sigma bonding framework, and then we'll be able to draw the pi bonding frameworks using the remaining p orbitals. Okay, so let's look at the hybridization on these carbons. So we notice that they both have the same bonding pattern. They each have a triple bond on one side and bonded to a hydrogen atom on the other side. And so the steric number for that is 2, right? So steric number is 2 for both of those carbons. Now, when the steric number is 2, the hybridization is sp hybridization. Okay, and we mixed the 2s and one of the 2p's. And let's look at our coordinate system and decide which one we actually used. So think about this molecule, think about the shape. So it's a linear molecule. The steric number is 2 at both those carbons, so that's a linear shape. And the molecule is lying along the x-axis. So we used the 2pz in hybridization. So that means that 2px and 2py remain. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw the sigma bonding framework first. So think about what shape those hybrid orbitals are. So they're linear, so the set of 2p hybrids looks like that. So let's go ahead and draw the framework, the sigma bonding framework. So there's one carbon. Here's the other carbon. And then hydrogen, unhybridized, right? So that's a 1s atomic orbital on each of those hybrid on each of those hydrogens, and those are spherical. So let's go ahead and draw those on. Oops, I made that one a little bit too big. You get the idea. Okay, so this is the sigma bonding framework. Okay, so this was our hydrogen and our hydrogen here. Okay, so now we need to draw the pi bonding frameworks. And so I am going to go to the next slide after I just make sure that we remember. So 2px and 2py, those 2p orbitals, those remain for us to make a pi bonding system with. And so they're left over and they uh, are involved in the pi bonding in the molecule. And we've used the 2pz. And so on the next slide, we're going to be able to just go ahead and draw the, the framework for this ethyne molecule, so that'll be a single bond between those two carbons, and then we're going to show the pi bonding. Um, we're going to draw it out for each coordinate. Okay, so here is our molecule again. And here's our coordinate system. So that's Z. X up here and Y here. Okay. All right, so let's draw the pi bonding framework. Okay. Now, usually it's easier to draw two different drawings instead of trying to put the whole thing together. So there are actually two pi bonds between these two carbons, and I'm going to draw them separately with each orientation of the p orbital. So the 2px, they're going to bond together in a pi bond. And they have to have the same orientation in order to form a pi bond. So the 2px will form the one pi bond 
and the 2PY will form the other. So these orbitals have to be in the same orientation in order to follow, uh, form that pi bond. Okay, so now that I wrote that, I need to move my molecules. Let me just erase him and move him down a little bit. Okay, so here's the framework for one of them. So this is our shorthand for our sigma bonding framework. And why don't we make this the 2px, 2px pi bond. All right. And so if I go up here and look at the coordinate system, the 2px lies along the x-axis. And so, since the x-axis is in the plane of the screen, then I don't need to do anything fancy with the notation, so I can just simply draw it above and below each carbon. So that's the 2px on each carbon, and it takes both lobes to form this pi bond. All right, so let's draw the other one. Okay, so this is going to be the 2PY, 2PY pi bond. Okay, so remember from the previous video, when you draw, when you want to show something coming in and out of the screen, you make the front lobe bold and the back one dotted. And so that kind of goes for anything, an atom sticking out of the screen, anything like that. But in this case, it's going to be a PY orbital. So just as we did with ethene in the previous video, I'm going to put the lobe coming out of the screen at you. I'm going to make it bold. And then the one that is going behind the screen, I'm going to make it dotted. I'm going to connect them together, showing that this is our pi bond. So this is a 2PY, 2PY pi bond. And we have the 2PX, 2PX pi bond over here. So that accounts for both of these pi bonds in the molecule. The single bond, that is accounted for in the sigma framework that is involved in hybridization.